Hello! Within this short series, I'll be covering how to use Talon's simple and automated machine learning approach to match a very high volume of data, ultimately accomplishing what's called continuous matching, all while using a Microsoft Azure HD Insights cluster running Spark 2.1 in the cloud. Let me walk you through the whole process. I'll start with a pairing exercise to first pre-analyze my dataset, outputting three different collections, unique records, records that are suspected pairs, and a set of sample pairs to be reviewed by data stewards. This sample set of pairs will be sent to my Talon Data Stewardship user, who will manually walk through each suspected pairing and label them as matched or not matched, using a stewardship grouping campaign within the Talon Data Stewardship application. The results of this pairing exercise will be used to train my matching model, the brain behind my machine learning approach. I'll use this learned model to analyze all of my suspected pairs data to identify possible duplicates. Then I'll use a merging campaign so my data steward can choose the surviving record for each duplicate set. With my fully cleansed and merged data from my campaigns and all unique records from my original data set in hand, I can load this data into my Elasticsearch search index. From here, we can take advantage of continuous matching, but we'll talk about that in the next video. Let me show you step by step what this whole process looks like. In my first job, I have a data set of customer records. I'm going to run it through a team match pairing component to generate the unique rows suspect pairs, and sample pairs. I've configured my team match pairing component to integrate with this talent data stewardship grouping campaign, so my data steward can access the sample pairs immediately. Connected to my HD Insights Spark cluster, I'll run this job. Now my data steward will be able to access my customer grouping campaign. He can then review each suspected match and validate whether or not they are matches. Once he's finished validating the choices, this data is ready to be processed within the next step, utilizing the machine matching model training exercise. I've already configured this component with matching keys and told it where to pull the data from, which is in this case from the data stewardship. The team match model analyzes my grouped data using the random forest algorithm. A random forest is a collection of decision trees used to solve a classification problem. In a decision tree, each node corresponds to a question about the features associated to the input data. A random forest grows many decision trees to improve the accuracy of the classification and to generate a model. We then can take advantage of our learned model within our third step. This job uses the suspected pairs data output from our first job containing all suspect pairs found within our input data. It's then submitted through our model, which has been trained using our grouped sample from data stewardship. It matches and then outputs any suspected duplicates. These suspected duplicates need to be used within a stewardship merging campaign to be resolved by our steward. Once we have our cleansed and verified merging campaign data and our unique rows resulting from our pairing exercise, the final step involves loading this data to our Elasticsearch search index. Within the next video, we'll continue on with how to use the Elasticsearch search index to accomplish continuous matching using additional datasets. Thanks for watching. Try Talent Data Integration now free for the next 30 days.